Welcome everybody to episode 3 of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is Monday Night Raw and we got an absolute stacked, action-packed night for you as tonight. The number one contenders tournament to decide Bobby Lashley's challenger for the WWE Championship at Backlash kicks off. Last week we saw the bracket. Let's take a look at it right here. Eight men, one opportunity. Who is going to survive the eight-man tournament and come out on the other side? Tonight in the main event, Drew McIntyre, Cesaro, one-on-one, -on -one, a heavy-hitting battle in the first round of the WWE number one contenders tournament. That is going to be a hell of a main event. But kicking us off in moments, one-on-one, -on -one, these two men have a lot of history dating back a few years. The one and only Ricochet versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. That is going to be kicking us off right here, right now on Monday Night Raw. Let's get in to our opening contest here on WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number three. Thank you for tuning in to this Monday Night Raw edition, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a great night, I promise you, as we are kicking it off with very exciting action. This is how you kick it off with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The Phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles, a man with a very decorated career thus far in the WWE. He has been a multiple time WWE champion in his own right. And he is looking to get back to the main event picture. A scene that has eluded him the last number of years. With this opportunity to challenge Bobby Lashley at Backlash up for grabs for one of these eight men in the tournament. You know nobody's going to want to give it inch. This is the first match in the first round of the number one contenders tournament kicking us off. There's only one way to do it and that's the phenomenal AJ Styles versus a one and only competitor in Ricochet. Plus later tonight Drew McIntyre and Cesaro. You guys know they're going to be throwing heavy hitters at each other. Two friends outside of the ring but inside, inside of the ring. There will be absolutely no holds barred later tonight, but here comes Ricochet. There is only one, and he is about to put in a show with AJ Styles. I guarantee it. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet has been a former United States Champion here in the WWE. Competed against AJ Styles for that championship a number of years ago. As well as back in NXT, he was the NXT North American Champion. The second man to ever hold that title. This could be the biggest opportunity of Ricochet's career. And head straight to the main event scene. And challenge a man who is a polar opposite of him and Bobby Lashley. Could be a matter of size and strength versus speed and agility if Ricochet can make it to the finals and make it through the finals and make it to Backlash in a couple of weeks' time. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The road to Backlash is truly kicking off with the number one contenders tournament, AJ and Ricochet. The first match in the first round. This is going to be great. As AJ gets the hand early on over Ricochet. I'm pumped up for this. As we've been mentioning later tonight, Drew McIntyre and Cesaro next week on Raw will be the other two opening round contests in the number one contenders tournament. We're going to see former WWE champion at one point, Jeff Hardy, taking on Damian Priest in a first time ever contest. One on one, that's going to be great. And then of course next week on Raw we will have Mustafa Ali who's looking to get back on track and carve a new path. Beautiful! I had to cut myself off there. Springboard Pele by Ricochet and he thought AJ was still behind him. And he miscalculated that moonsault there. But as I was mentioning, next week on Raw, Mustafa Ali will take on the visionary Seth Rollins. Those are your other two first-round matches as you saw the bracket earlier. That's going to be next week on Monday Night Raw. But here we go, AJ and Ricochet. AJ in control right now over the one and only. As Ricochet started hot, a couple of high-flying maneuvers as we know he can execute well. But he miscalculated that one on AJ Styles. He's going to try to fight back here. It's going to be interesting because these are both high-flying competitors, but if one person knows how to bring it to the ground a little more, I would say that has to be AJ Styles, man. 
Both these men have a lot of experience. AJ Styles a little longer than Ricochet, of course. And a more decorated competitor here in the WWE. As Ricochet cradled AJ up there. That was a great offensive maneuver by the one and only. As we mentioned, mentioned, excuse me, Ricochet, a former United States champion, a former NXT North American champion. AJ Styles in his career has been the United States champion, intercontinental champion, tag team champion. He's been the WWE champion. Every single WrestleMania that AJ's competed in, he's been in a phenomenal matchup, including the one that just passed. As Ricochet kicks out there, of course, in our universe, it's AJ Styles defeating, or had defeated, excuse me, the Rated R Superstar Edge at WrestleMania in their first ever encounter. AJ came out the victor in that one. AJ Styles a decorated career thus far in the WWE, and he could be looking to add another WWE Championship reign to that list. Oh, look at that beautiful counter. AJ into the cover on Ricochet. It's one, it's two. The Ricochet got the shoulder up, but that was a nice move by AJ Styles there. Really catching Ricochet off guard. That's what he's going to have to have to do. Gonna have to do, it, excuse me. Sends Ricochet over the top rope. And I was gonna say, well, I don't know. AJ thought he was gonna go to the outside. He does. I was gonna say, this is a good time for AJ to catch his breath here. But second thought, you see, AJ didn't rush into anything. He thought about going to the outside. He saw Ricochet was getting to his feet. AJ into the cover. This could be all into the. It's two? No. Seen a lot of covers here. I gotta point that out. I mean, it's, it almost seems like these guys are trying to get the match. Out of the way a little early, which I mean I understand this is a tournament that's going to progress over the next few weeks. The fresher you can stay, the better your chances will be. The later you get on the tournament, two weeks from now is when the semifinals will kick off. And then the next week, and the go home, the backlash is when we'll see the finals of the tournament. As Ricochet counters AJ there, showing some of his strength that he does have over AJ Styles. Look at that nice cradle maneuver. A lot of counters, a lot of back and forth. It's been a great match between Ricochet and AJ Styles. Kicking us off on Monday Night Raw. Oh my goodness. Miscalculates yet another high-risk maneuver does Ricochet. He crashed and burned a little there. Luckily, he was able to get to his feet before AJ Styles. Ricochet's got to watch, man. I know he wants to use his high-flying maneuvers to his advantage. That's what he does best, but you got to be careful. You don't call it high-risk, high-reward for nothing. AJ Scout and Ricochet here. Kick to the gut. Oh, he hits him with the knee. That's one of Ricochet's own moves. AJ picks up the win over Ricochet. In pretty early fashion, but I got to be honest, I, I got to aid the early victory to AJ hitting Ricochet with one of his own moves. That code breaker knee to the face. That's something we see Ricochet do. There it is right there again. AJ, a little bit of move theft. But it gets the job done. No matter the tactics, AJ Styles wins the match and he is moving on to the semifinals in two weeks. Big win for AJ here tonight on Raw. Well, we got a couple of other matches here tonight on Raw. We have Rhea Ripley taking on Mia Yim in one on one women's division action. We also have Arya Davari taking on Grand Metal League. That is a Cruiserweight Championship six-pack challenge qualifying match. The winner of that is going to move on to the six-man match at Backlash. We also have the new World Tag Team Champions, the Viking Raiders, taking on Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan in tag team action. That is going to be a huge tag team matchup. Also tonight, WWE Women's Champion Bianca Blair is going to take on Shotzi. Huge opportunity for Shotzi to earn a victory over the champion. And of course, as we've mentioned, Cesaro versus Drew McIntyre in the first round in the tournament in our main event tonight. Let's check out who picked up the victory in some of these matches. It's going to be Rhea Ripley getting the win over Mia Yim. We're going to see Grand Metalik move on to Backlash. It's going to be great to see him get an opportunity. Viking Raiders over Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. And it's time to move on to Bianca Belair versus Shotzi. Here comes Shotzi to the ring. Like we mentioned, this is a huge opportunity for her. A victory over Bianca tonight could put her in possible championship contention in the near future. With Rhea Ripley picking up a win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Oakland, California. Shotzi! 
as we were mentioning, Rhea Ripley picking up the win over Mia Yim earlier tonight, so that's going to put her up in the rankings a little bit. Last week on Raw, is Bailey and Sasha Banks getting a win in tag team action. You got to look at those W's, man. They are going to matter here in Universe Mode. Every win counts, especially when we're talking about the women's division and who's going to be the next contender for Bianca Belair in the WWE Women's Championship at the Backlash pay-per-view in a couple of weeks' time. Shotzi on her way to the ring. She's ready for action against the champion. I'm excited about this one, man. These are two young women here in the WWE. Bianca obviously has had a little bit more experience. And here comes the champ herself. From Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Bianca's bit of the show, man. She has main evented WrestleMania. She's a former Royal Rumble match winner. And she's a two-time Women's Champion after defeating Becky Lynch at WrestleMania for the WWE Women's Championship. And of course, as we mentioned, Backlash coming up in a couple of weeks. We're going to be announcing very soon what Bianca Blair will be doing at that, at that event with the WWE Women's Championship on the line. She's yet to have a contender, though. Yet to have a challenger, so Shotzi could take advantage of this opportunity. A victory over Blair here could put her in the number one contender spot. Challenge Blair for the WWE Women's title on pay-per-view in a couple of weeks' time. All right, here we go. Raw's going to roll on. Women's division action. The first time we're showcasing it here on Universe Mode. I'm looking forward to this one. Shotzi, Bianca Belair, one-on-one -on -one here on Monday Night Raw. This is going to be good. Shotzi coming out aggressive, and I think that's what she needs to do here. Belair, like we mentioned, Belair, the one with the more big match experience of the two. She's main event of WrestleMania. She's won the Royal Rumble. She's been in other big matches throughout her career. Went through NXT. Smackdown Raw, she's rubbed elbows with a lot of big names in that ring. Bianca Blair, even so young in her career, has done a lot. So Shotzi, definitely the underdog in this matchup. And if she wants to pick up the win of the WWE Women's Champion, well, you got to do what you got to do, and you got to come out swinging. Because we know how, how talented Blair is in that ring. As she takes Shotzi down here. And just a slap to the face. Blair showcasing her talents, ain't afraid to get a little dirty in the ring. And as Belair and Shotzi continue this matchup here, we want to remind you guys that every Thursday, our secondary program here for Universe Mode WWE main event will be taking place right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Last week we had a great matchup between Samoa Joe and Sheamus in the main event, which saw Sheamus getting the victory over Samoa Joe to crown himself the number one contender for Shinsuke Nakamura's Intercontinental Championship at the Backlash pay-per-view. Our first full match confirmed for that show. Of course, we do know that the Cruiserweight Championship, the vacant Cruiserweight Championship, will be on the line in a six-pack challenge as we continue to qualify superstars for that match. Already qualified, we have Santos Escobar. Grand Metal League earlier tonight. Oh, Bianca going to the outside. More still to come. And then, of course, the WWE Championship will be on the line in the main event of that pay-per-view, and we will find out Bobby Lashley's contender over the next number of weeks. Blair said Shotzi again. This is a little bit of a vicious attack here. I think Blair's got something to prove. But Shotzi's got something to prove here, man. She's on the shoulders of Blair. Takes her down right over the knee. Shotzi's been on the WWE main roster for quite a while. She came up during the summer of last year after having a run in NXT. She's a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion with Ember Moon, her current tag team partner as well here in Universe Mode. She ain't afraid to mix it up in singles action, which is why she was taking on the WWE Women's Champion tonight. That's nice forearm. And big time clothesline. A lot of back and forth here. Belair's had to control most of this matchup for, or thus far, I should say, excuse me. But Shotzi, on the other hand, is really holding her own against the WWE Women's Champion as she just tosses her to the outside of the ring. And a big time clothesline takes her down. This match has been great thus far. Belair versus Shotzi. We do know that Bianca will be defending the WWE Women's Championship the next time at Backlash. Who will be our opponent? Will it be 
Shotzi if she can get a win here. Will it be Rhea Ripley who got a big win earlier in the night? Will it be Bailey and Sasha Banks who got a win in tag team action last week? Women's division is definitely stacked here. And Shotzi with the DDT cuts off Bianca Belair. Big time reversal. Going to take her over. No, she actually goes over herself. Bit of a reverse blockbuster. Slice bread maneuver. Into the cover, but the, the champion kicks out. Champion is still in it. Been a great role thus far. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, as you already saw, AJ Styles defeated Ricochet in our opening contest. AJ will be moving on to the semifinals of the number one contenders tournament in two weeks' time. And he will take on the winner of Damian Priest and Jeff Hardy next week. And later tonight, we got Cesaro and Drew McIntyre coming up after this match in our main event. The winner of that moves on to the semifinals. And they will face the winner of next week's Mustafa Ali versus Seth Rollins match. The tournament's going to be great. It's already been great this far. I'm looking forward to seeing who comes out on the other end and fights the almighty Bobby Lashley in the main event of our first pay-per-view, which is going to be an absolute banger, I promise you. Backlash, you're not going to want to miss that event. We will have a date for that coming up soon. It will be a live premiere here on the YouTube channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Is Bianca Belair absolutely impressive? Standing shooting star press as she's scouting Shotzi here. What's she going for? Works on the arm, but Shotzi battles back. She is staying in this. We know how tough Shotzi is. We've seen her in no disqualification matches before. She's taken a lot of bumps and bruises over her time in NXT and here on the main roster. Shotzi, we, we, said, we said the same about Belair earlier, but Shotzi's definitely proven it as well. Not afraid to get her hands dirty inside the square. It circles beyond Belair. Back and forth, man. Back and forth. It's back and forth to the extent that Belair's really had to control most of this mess, and Shotzi's really hanging in there. Belair goes to the top, but might have been a risky maneuver. Shotzi able to counter, and she slams Belair. Right on the map below. And now Shotzi's going to go high risk, high reward. Question mark on that. Let's see if she can hit this here. She's waiting for Blair to get back to her feet, but she's got better ideas. It's better to back out than to do something he thinks not going to strike as Blair with the hair whip to Shotzi. May be her most powerful, effective maneuver in her arsenal. It ain't against the rules, so why not use it? As Blair hits the ropes. Shotzi's got to watch her back here. Blair's definitely scouting her. She's got her up. Torture rack position. Down goes Shotzi. My God. Face first. Blair into the cover. Is that going to do it? I believe it is going to. Bianca. No. I was getting ready to put the W in Bianca's column. But Shotzi gets the shoulder up at 2.9. That is a finishing maneuver from Belair. I cannot believe she kicked out. She's going to the top. Went for the elbow drop again. But for the second time in a row, it does not pay dividends. Shotzi's hanging in here. I think after that kick out, Bianca may be a little stunned. And now Shotzi's coming on the offense. Blair's down and out. Shotzi, let's see what she's going to do here. Heads to the top rope. Miscalculated it. This has been a great match thus far for our women's division. Like we said, man, every win and loss is going to matter, especially when it comes to championship opportunities. And when you're already in the ring with the champion, it's the perfect opportunity to put yourself at the front of the line. Third time's a charm, however, with Bianca Belair with the elbow. That's got to do it. It is it. Bianca picks up the win. What an impressive, absolutely impressive effort from Shotzi here tonight for the WWE Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Picks up the win after the elbow hits, not once, not twice, but on the third time, it struck. It looks like we got a little sign of respect here. You love to see it from Belair and Shotzi. I'm, I'm impressed with Shotzi, man. She, even in defeat, she comes out looking strong. We got to keep our eye on her in the WWE Women's Division, man. She could be a force to be reckoned with in the rankings for the Women's Championship.
Well, coming up this Thursday on WWE Main Event, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Cruiserweight Championship six-pack challenge qualifying match. Angel Garza goes one-on-one -on -one with legendary Cruiserweight Rey Mysterio. That is going to be a great matchup on Main Event. And let's talk about next week on Raw. The WWE Number One Contenders Championship Tournament kicks off, or excuse me, continues with Damian Priest taking on Jeff Hardy. That is going to be an absolutely exciting matchup next week on Raw. And then the next week's main event, ladies and gentlemen, also in first round tournament action, Mustafa Ali looking to get his career back on track against the visionary and former champion in his own right, Seth freaking Rollins. That is next week right here on Monday Night Raw. Can't wait for those two big matches. Well, let's get to our main event, Cesaro. Drew McIntyre, first round of the number one contenders tournament. Friends outside of the ring, but all of that goes aside when you step inside the squared circle with a championship opportunity on the line. Here comes Cesaro. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds. If there is one man who has had such a following to get an opportunity here in the WWE, it's got to be Cesaro. This man has had the audience behind his back for nearly a decade in his WWE career. He's a former United States Champion. He's a former Tag Team Champion. He's gotten a few opportunities before, but not to the length of which many feel he deserves. And I got to be honest, I agree with the audience. So I'm happy to see Cesaro getting this opportunity in this title tournament tonight. And it's certainly an opportunity that he's going to have to fight for because it's no easy task in front of him. It's former WWE Champion himself, Drew McIntyre. Look at this beast on his way to the ring. This is going to be a hell of a main event. I'm pumped up. McIntyre in one of the best shapes of his life. Looking to get back to Bobby Lashley, a man he's got a lot of history with. And he wants the WWE Championship back as well. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Two of the strongest men in the WWE. Incredible shapes for both of these guys. This is going to be a hell of a main event. I don't expect to see the same style we saw out of AJ and Ricochet. I don't expect to see much high flying here. I expect to be fists throwing, haymakers being thrown, bodies being thrown. McIntyre, Cesaro, two bulls about to be unleashed inside that red and white ring. This is going to be a hell of a main event. It's the first round of the number one contenders tournament. The Swiss Superman Cesaro. Drew McIntyre. Let's kick this off right now here in your main event of Raw. As we mentioned, Drew McIntyre. A lot of history with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley's first WWE Championship reign. Even though he beat, beat The Miz for the title, basically came at the extent or excuse me, I should say, expense of Drew McIntyre. A lot of history between those two at WrestleMania last year. Inside Hell in the Cell. They battled for months for the WWE Championship. Drew McIntyre did not come out on the other side. Has been empty-handed ever since. But McIntyre's been at the top of the mountain before. He beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania two years ago for the WWE Championship. He held the WWE title as the, the face of the WWE brand, waving the flag during the pandemic. McIntyre has proven he can be the man, and he wants to be the man again. He's got unfinished business with Bobby Lashley. I bet he wants to handle... Look, this is what I'm talking about with the strength. Outside of the ring, McIntyre is no light man. He's got to be, what, 260? Cesaro just bench pressing him, basically. Military pressing him outside of the ring. This is going to be a hell of a fight. It already has been. Let's talk about Cesaro on the other hand. Like we already mentioned, he's a former multiple-time tag team champion here in the WWE. United States champion early in his career. He's been in the WWE for nearly 10 years. If we're included his run in FCW and NXT, over 10 years. But he's never been the WWE champion. 
He got one opportunity last year around this time. And unfortunately, the rug was pulled out from under him. And he also did not get the job done in the ring. But this could be the opportunity that Cesaro has been searching for. Can it be Cesaro versus Bobby Lashley in the main event of Backlash for the WWE title? I'm sure a lot of people would love to see those two men go at it. We're at a standstill here. Cesaro with the knee to the gut of Drew McIntyre. Irish whoops to the corner. Cesaro takes control. Look at the height of these two guys. This is classic Cesaro here. McIntyre stuck in the corner, but big time counter. It was a beautiful counter. Multiple uppercuts, but McIntyre fired back. These guys are doing exactly what I thought they'd do and just throwing each other. At, oh, big time. Big time maneuver from, from Cesaro. Just back and forth we're going here, man. And that McIntyre, classic headbutt. And of course, as we mentioned, the winner of this matchup will go on to fight the winner of next week's main event, Mustafa Ali versus Seth Rollins, in two weeks' time here on Raw. And then it's in three weeks' time where we will open Monday Night Raw with the finals of the tournament. Whoever those two men may be, and that'll be the go-home Raw to Backlash. So whoever wins this tournament is only going to have a few days to prepare as they await Bobby Lashley. And the same goes for the WWE Champion Bobby Lashley. He's only going to have... A mere six nights to prepare for the winner of this tournament. Of course, he can scout along the way and look at the eight men it could possibly be. Now seven, now that Ricochet is out of the tournament. One man will be exiting here. It's going to be, it's going to lead to a very interesting scenario, man. It's all about the WWE Championship. Which man will be the better one? Come backlash, Bobby Lashley or his challenger? Cesaro gets back in the ring. McIntyre standing tall. We're back at a stalemate again. These two guys locking horns. McIntyre sends him into the corner. A little bit bigger of a two, but you almost can say Cesaro may be the stronger of the two. As McIntyre hits Cesaro in the back of that axe hammer. Throwing fists, throwing each other's bodies around. It's exactly what I expected this main event to be. As McIntyre goes for the cover, this could be all. Cesaro gets the shoulder up. And speaking of main event, of course, as we mentioned, this Thursday, Angel Garza, Rey Mysterio, who's going to be the fourth man to qualify for the Cruiserweight Championship six-pack challenge of Backlash. We already know it's going to be Santos, Escobar, Mansoor, Graham Metalik qualified earlier tonight. Three of the six spots are confirmed. Who will be the fourth one? Will it be Garza or Rey Mysterio? We're going to find that out this Thursday on main event, plus some other action on that show. You're not going to want to miss it. McIntyre in firm control. Let's see what he looks to do here. Went for a right, but Cesaro countered with his own. And he's going to send the big man over the top rope. There's a right hand. Cesaro, we saw this earlier. Looks like Cesaro may be targeting the lower back in this matchup. And drops through McIntyre right on the apron. Clearly having a strategy here to wear down the big man. You take out the back. It becomes harder to lift. It becomes harder to jump for that Claymore kick. It's a good strategy by Cesaro as he throws Drew McIntyre. Double underhook on the outside of the ring. This thing is spilling into a fight here. McIntyre comes out to Cesaro. This is for the clothesline. These guys are dodging each other at ringside, man. And Cesaro, again, the stronger of the two, has got McIntyre up. And slams him down on the outside. Counts at six. Somebody's got to get back in the ring here. If this goes to a double countout, they'll both be disqualified from the tournament. And that means whoever wins Mustafa Ali versus Seth Rollins would end up getting a bye. But nonetheless, these guys are back in the ring here. Drew McIntyre in control. Cesaro's down. McIntyre could be looking to close this thing out. Big time clothesline. Delaria takes out the Swiss Superman here. McIntyre got kick to the gut. McIntyre's in control. Cesaro may be in deep water here. Drew McIntyre. Wait, oh, wait a minute. We know what he's looking for. He's in the corner. Claymore strikes dead on. Claymore kick to Cesaro. And McIntyre punches his ticket. 
to the semifinals of the number one contenders tournament. Hell of a main event between McIntyre and Cesaro, throwing everything they had at each other. But there is no getting up for that right there. The Claymore kick knocks Cesaro's head right off his shoulders. And a clean one, two, three. No questions about it. Out of the first round. Goes Drew McIntyre and into the semifinals goes the man himself. There is your updated bracket. Ricochet gone, Cesaro gone, Styles and McIntyre move on. Two more matches in the first round. That'll be next week here on Monday Night Raw. A great Raw tonight. The road to backlash is moving on. We'll see you this Thursday for Angel Garza and Rey Mysterio, plus more on WWE Main Event. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Monday Night Raw.